Recently, you must have came across the word blue-green deployment or red-black deployment as Netflix calls it. We all know Tomcat deployment or Spring Boot deployment. So what is this blue-green deployment or red-black deployment? Hi everyone, my name is Zinosh and let's begin. A blue-green deployment is a change management strategy for releasing software code by Martin Flaw. This technique is not new to industry. For this, we need two environments. Now these two environments are identical. One of them will call it as blue environment and the another one as a green. Old version, new version respectively. So initially, when your software is developed and tested, it is deployed on the old version, which is active and receives production traffic. So now, when you want to release a new version of your software, you can deploy it on the new version that is the green environment and on this you can do all your testing. So this is a non-active environment and this is not receiving any production traffic. So once you are satisfied with the results of your new version, you can switch the production traffic via a router from old version to a new version that is the green version. So like this, all the traffic will be directed to the new version and it will become an active version. So at this moment, old version will be inactive version. So this way, when you have new development again done, it can be deployed on the blue environment. So you can switch between these two environments. So what are the advantages of this practice? Continuous deployment and fast rollback. You can test the update on the new server before it is made live. No downtime when switching to the new version. You can easily and quickly roll back to the previous version if something does not work with the new version. And what are the disadvantages? It's little expensive and it has more overheads. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.